Hi, welcome everybody. My name is Rob Finlayson. Good afternoon, uh, good evening, perhaps, depending upon where you are in the world. Uh, it is an absolute pleasure to be here with you today alongside my colleague Katie and some amazing current students and former students. Uh, and together, we're all going to share with you some what I think is really, really important information about how Carleton can help you guys as students prepare for the life of work post-graduation. Um, I always think it's a little strange to think about what life might be like once you finish the degree, before you've even arrived on campus, but I think it's important to consider how you can take different elements of Carleton's opportunities and put them together in interesting ways that would help you in terms of being able to find uh, really, really meaningful, interesting work post-graduation. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, and before we really jump in, I guess I wanted to share what I think is quite exciting. And that is one of the interesting things about Carleton is that we're consistently recognized as a top 10 university in all of Canada for graduate student employability. So this means that our students get jobs. The vast majority of Carleton grads are able to find meaningful employment related to their subject of study very quickly post-graduation. And this is something that we're extremely proud of at Carleton because I think it speaks to the quality of the education uh, and it speaks to how the skills you're going to obtain as you move through your degree will be valued by potential and future employers as well. So it's really important. Um, whether you guys know what you want to do when you finish your degree or whether you're sort of kind of thinking about it, but you're not really sure, um, I think it's important to note that this is a learning experience as well. So whatever you do, you're going to be in different types of experiences that help you get a better understanding of, of what you want to do once you finish. Um, overall, I would say one of sort of the hallmarks or defining features of a Carleton degree, though, is that it's really based in the world of hands-on learning. And so what that means is you guys will be getting your hands dirty. You'll be in classrooms, learning in large lecture halls sometimes or small discussion groups. Um, but you're also going to be going out into the community and you're going to be trying things. You're going to be doing research. You're going to be working professionally. You might be doing an internship or a research placement. Um, but collectively, all of these things will give you a lot of opportunities to create leadership skills that have obviously are really valuable for the world of work. Um, but also viable for navigating the complexities of life as you go forward as well. So um, I think the more you take advantage of these experiences at Carleton, um, the more well-rounded you will be. And obviously, the more friends you'll have as well, because you get a chance to kind of connect with people in all kinds of different ways. There's different ways we can accomplish the, this at Carleton. Um, one of the big ones is co-op, and we're going to spend a lot of time talking about that today. But beyond that, there's other ways you can build elements of your education to get these experiences as well. So one would be, of course, Carleton has over 300 student societies. So whether you want to volunteer and get involved in a student club, uh, professional students associations like the Engineering Student Society, uh, to sports, uh, for example, you can assume leadership roles in these things and you can document your experiences through your co-curricular record as well, uh, which ostensibly is like a parallel document that showcases all of the great things you do across your degree. You can also take advantage of opportunities like our international internship program or an international exchange. So as an international student in Canada, you can further that by going to another country, um, potentially working and getting a credit for that experience or attending one of our partner universities and having your degree courses recognized as part of your Carleton degree. With our iCurious program, you can actually take advantage of undergraduate research funding so if you like the idea of getting research experience as an undergraduate degree before you go on to graduate school, perhaps that's something that Carleton provides and it's fairly unique as well. So it's worth considering. Uh, and as I mentioned, of course, through clubs and societies, you can have fun. You can do things that are interesting and try new things, um, but you can also benefit from the skills you might obtain by running organizations or volunteering with different organizations as well. So my advice to you, and I think the students might share this as well, is the more you get outside of your comfort zone, the more you try new things, um, the more you put yourself in situations that might feel a little bit strange at first, um, the more you'll, you'll learn and you'll benefit and you'll grow from all of that together. So make sure you take advantage of all of these things. Um, but of course, one of our key programs that really provides substantial experience for you in terms of being able to work and study and try different things is our co-op program. And at this stage, I'm going to turn the floor over to my colleague, Katie, who will share more information about that. 
Hi, thank you, Rob. My name is Katie LeBlanc. I'm the manager of cooperative education. Um, soon you'll be hearing from students about their firsthand experiences, but I'm here to tell you just a bit about the co-op program, how it works, and, and what it means. So co-op might not be a familiar term to everybody. We say co-op to mean cooperative education. And what that means is that it's a program that uh, requires cooperation between you as a student, the university, as well as our employers out in the community, whether those employers be in Ottawa or anywhere else in the world. So when we say co-op, we're talking about the cooperative education program. It's one work integrated learning opportunity at Carleton, and it gives you paid work experience. These are paid full-time opportunities um, where students are working on real jobs with real employers and real paychecks. It allows you to gain 12 or 16 months of work experience while you're completing your degree. So when you go through the co-op program, when you come out of Carleton, you have at least a year of real paid work experience on your resume, which can help lift off your career when you graduate. As well, um, some people will ask how much uh, you're paid while you're on a co-op term and a typical salary for a student can start at $15.50 per hour, and usually jobs are 35 to 40 hours per week. And the wage can range all the way up to $30 an hour, and that would be for certain programs and students who have some work experience behind them already. So what is co-op exactly? So as I alluded to before, it's an integrated learning program. It really allows you to take what you're learning in the classroom and use it in a paid work experience environment, which really helps to solidify the knowledge, but also helps you go back to your later studies, feeling a bit more informed, having applied these concepts and theories in the real world. If you're in the co-op option, it is an optional program, I should mention. It's not a mandatory program, but once you're in the program, you are expected to complete either three or four work terms throughout your degree program. Each work term is four months in length. And uh, by completing all of the mandatory work terms for your particular program, you would graduate with the co-op designation. Again, these are full-time paid employment opportunities. While you're in co-op, you're expected to either be studying full-time on your study terms or on your designated work terms, you would be working full-time during those terms. So you're alternating somewhat your studies with periods of full-time work. You're not doing both at the same time. One of the advantages of being in the co-op program is that you do get access to a full staff who is here to support you. So you're not out on your own trying to find your own job and then on your own trying to navigate situations in the workplace. You do have access to co-op staff to help you with those things. Again, you can apply your learning out there in the real world. Very exciting. Um, in Ottawa, Carleton is very lucky. Uh, Ottawa has a very strong labor market, um, and that's partly because we have plenty of opportunities in the public sector, whether that be federal government, provincial government, or municipal, as well as the private sector, whether that be in the tech sector or in other areas. When you graduate with the co-op designation you're grad and you're working in Canada in those work terms, you're graduating with Canadian work experience on your resume. That's that all-important Canadian work experience that employers do look for when they're hiring new grads. And we have the opportunity for you to complete longer work terms. So because of the way your work-study pattern will be set up for you when you enter co-op, you often have the option of working not just four months with a particular employer, but you could work eight, 12, or even 16 months with that same employer, which can give you a depth of experience that you wouldn't normally get in a part-time or shorter-term job opportunity. Other advantages of joining the Carleton Co-op program are that we have an extensive employer database. Again, we're very lucky in Ottawa. We have a very large group of employers who come to us year after year, term after term to hire students. They're very loyal. And we have a co-op staff who are always out there drumming up interest amongst new employers to try and get them to join in on the co-op program as well. So we have an extensive employer database for you to take advantage of in your job search. 
not just in Ottawa, but we're also looking for employers and have loyal employers in Toronto, Vancouver, Halifax, Montreal. So the options are open to you to work elsewhere in Canada or elsewhere in the world if that's your preference. Co-op really helps you, especially if you're not sure what you'd like to do with your career, it really helps you explore different options. So when you go into a work term, you spend a little time there, you can get a real sense of what you like and even what you don't like and would rather not continue doing in your career. Um, so it's a really great low commitment way to try different things before you commit to a career in the long term. Because work terms are paid, they do offer the opportunity for you to reduce your student debt. You'd be paid as an international student, earning same wages as domestic students and paying the same co-op fees as domestic students. So there's no difference there. And again, you receive the co-op designation if you graduate with all three or four of the required work terms for your program. And that's a really important designation for employers to see when you graduate. It shows that you started a program, completed it, and it's just an indicator that you um, have that commitment to your career. So as I mentioned, we have a broad database of employers. You probably recognize some of the employer names here. These are some of our more loyal employers, but this is just a small snapshot. We have, um, what is it, 15 employers listed here, but we have tens of thousands of employers on our database who are posting jobs all the time. So these are just some names you might recognize, but we also have relationships with a, a wide variety of other employers. So we do have other opportunities at Carleton. If you're not part of the co-op program, there are other ways that we can support your employability while you're studying at Carleton. Um, Rob had mentioned international internships. There are other types of internships as well. You can do study abroad exchanges. Um, every student at Carleton has access to the Career Services Office in our Tory building, where a lot of our student services are located. You can go into Tory anytime and ask for help with your job search networking, building a resume, interviews. If you have a job interview and you're really, really nervous, you can come in and do a practice mock interview. And we'll hook you up with volunteer opportunities. Uh, with our job board, again, we have um, a job board that's open to non-co-op students where you can see opportunities for uh, part-time, summer, or full-time positions. And we do a lot of career fairs. We run three career fairs each year where we invite employers to come to campus and their sole purpose for coming to campus is to meet our students and, um, and evaluate you as potential candidates for their jobs. So each career fair features at least 50, usually 70 employers for you to speak with and explore those career options. Um, I saw there was a question as well about work permits. So with uh, the co-op program, we will support you and let you know when you need to apply for your co-op work permit if you join the co-op program. And that's all done through um, the usual channels, but uh, for co-op work terms, you would need to um, uh, sort of listen to what we're telling you as far as applying on time for your co-op work permit so that you can work on a co-op term. Katie, that is really helpful. Thank you so much for that. Um, one thing I would add is, um, just so everybody is aware, Carleton's co-op program is among the largest in Canada and also the fastest growing at the moment. Uh, so co-op is widely available across Carleton's programs. Um, some of you will have applied with co-op and some of you maybe are only learning about it now for the first time. So if it's something that you're interested in and you haven't applied with it, uh, feel free to reach out to us and we can discuss this with you further in terms of your individual applications. So at this stage, I'd like to introduce you to some of our amazing current and former students who will be able to speak to you and share some of their ideas about what makes for a good experience at Carleton in terms of um, career preparation and leadership skills outside of the classroom uh, and their own journeys. So without further ado, I'll invite our students to introduce themselves, um, starting with Anu, please. Thank you, Rob. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Anu. Uh, I'm from New Delhi, India, and I just graduated from Carleton in December with a degree in uh, business law. And um, I will be talking a little about my co-op and volunteer experience today. Wonderful. Thank you, Anu. Um, how about you, Dee? 
Hi, everyone. Um, I just graduated. I graduated last year, 2022, um, June 2022, with a degree in business law at Carlton and also in minor in sociology. I am originally from Lagos, Nigeria, and I'll be talking about my experience at Carlton, having co-op and also going abroad to study. Wonderful. Thank you, Dee. And Quinn. Hi, everyone. My name is Quinn. I'm from Vietnam. I'm a third year student in computer science at Carleton, and I will be graduating in 2025. Wonderful. Thank you. So this is a question for each of you. I guess I'm just curious to get your thoughts on how your unique experiences at Carleton uh, prepared you for life after graduation. Certainly that's the case for you, Anu and Dee, and for you, Quinn, in terms of how you formulated what you might want to do post-graduation. Um, so if you could speak to different things you may have done across your time at Carleton to help with that, that would be really interesting. Anu. Absolutely. So um, when I was at Carleton, I was really actively involved. I was I did co-op for uh, a year. I was working initially with the co-op office, and I was also working uh, with the federal government. Uh, so that gave me a lot of experience, a lot of valuable and transferable skills that, um, you know, that I could apply in future opportunities after I graduate. And that experience also helped me um, understand what I'm really interested in. Um, so help me narrow down my options after I graduate. And I also was... Um, the president and the founder of uh, an international student association at Carleton for two years. So uh, I had a lot of volunteer experience. I was uh, helping students out as much as I could. So I feel like my volunteer and my co-op experience both combined helped me uh, gain a lot of valuable skills and experience that really helped me after I graduated. Yeah, that's really cool. And I think it's it's that combination of like, yeah, formal programs like co-op and informal things like being a student volunteer with a club or a society or even just a volunteer off campus that allows you to learn um, about professional context, solve real world problems in real time, uh, engage with people, communication skills, you know, all of these things together. So that's really interesting. Dee, how about you? What were your experiences like at Carlton? My experience at Carlton were actually really good. Um, so before I actually started co-op, I decided to defer my co-op term to study abroad in Australia for a semester. And that was an amazing experience. It was essentially for me an international student going international again. So it was like experiencing the same thing I experienced when I came to Canada for the first time, experiencing it again in a different country. So having the experience of just speaking to so many students, um, learning about another country, just having the familiarity to just communicate in different environment that really helped but also do, doing co-op I did co-op for um 16 months but the way it was a 12 month straight up co-op and then I had a break where I went back to school and then I did another four months which was 16 months in total and having those experiences just made me communicate better um I had connections I was able to know myself in order to know what I actually liked and the kind of career path I wanted to go on because co-op actually allows you have professional roles in comparison to if you were to have part-time jobs. So when you have those co-op roles, you'll be able to know what you're comfortable with and the kind of roles you, you see yourself being in. So being a co-op student and also going abroad and volunteering sometimes in school, those really helped me when I entered the workforce after graduation. Yeah, a quick follow-up question. So a 12-month co-op, is that's really interesting. Most co-op terms tend to be four months, but they can be eight months or 12 months. So yeah. for your 12-month term, where did you work and what did you do? Yes, so that's a very good question. I actually worked at Carleton University. I worked at the, yes, I worked at the Career Services Office as an international and international internship students and student programs assistant. So I worked for twelve months. I worked with students. I worked with employers. So working with employers at the Career Services Office and also working with students, it was like a middleman, and I had I I could see what students like myself face and being able to navigate and also assist them and also talking to employers. Talking to employers and working with employers opened up my network in a different way that any other role that I would have had outside of school wouldn't have. So, yes, my 12 month I was at Carlton University and Career Services, one of the best work experiences I've ever had. Oh, that's really great. Thank you. Um, Quinn, how about yourself? What type of different things have you done at Carlton, you know, co-op, volunteerism, other things perhaps that you would say kind of collectively have, have been helpful? 
Um, I'm currently in the co-op program, and um, I already I already worked for two terms of co-op already, in last fall and last summer, and I worked as a software developer, so the real job. Um, I was able to apply the knowledge that I've gained in class to a real world context. And I learned a lot from my colleges, uh, not only about technical skills, but also their perspectives in life. Um, and I got a chance to explore different career paths so I can be prepared and decide what I want to do after graduation. And I also try to get involved as much as I can at school. And I made a lot of friends and connections. That's really great. And Quinn, if I'm not mistaken, you're doing a co-op term right now as we speak. Is that right? Um, no, I, I'm, I will do co-op in this summer. So yeah, basically in a few weeks. Okay, that's great. Yeah. So where's, where's your next co-op term? Uh, my next, next co-op term will be uh, with Ericsson in Canada. Ottawa. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Thank you. So I guess for all of you, um, when you did co-op, I'm just curious to know about your thoughts on the learning and sort of exploration of different types of work across different co-op terms. So maybe before you started, you had a really clear idea that you wanted to be this, and then you did different types of jobs and realized that you wanted to change that a little bit, or you found something that you were really excited about that you weren't aware of before, just sort of that exploration, um, if that's something that you know is relevant to you. Um, Annie, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, uh, yes. I, I mean, before I uh, started my co-op journey, I was really, you know, interested in doing something similar to my program. So I was kind of looking for uh, a legal internship or some uh, co-op position at a law firm or, uh, um, you know, with the justice department. But uh, my first co my first two co-op terms were with the co-op office and I was at first, I was not really sure what, you know, if I will be a good fit, if I will be able to do the work or not. But it was a really, really good experience for me. It, I got an opportunity to work with different departments at Carleton, uh, at the, sorry, the co-op office. And I got to, I got an opportunity to do different types of works that were not related to law, but were a really, really good experience. And it kind of helped me understand. I not only got, you know, the skills, um, such as organizational skills or communication skills and some relevant experience. But I also, um, you know, it also helped me understand or uh, understand if I want to, you know, be in a similar position in the future or if I want to do something different. And um, luckily, co-op gave me an opportunity to try out different uh, work environments, different positions. So I also got an opportunity to work with public health agency and it helped me understand uh, it was kind of similar to uh, what I was looking for because I was doing researching and writing, which is similar to my degree in law. But And it helped me, like both experiences, they helped me understand what I wanted to do in the future, which is I want, I want to work with the government. So I feel like it was a really, really good experience for me. And uh, both the experiences uh, helped me uh, gain some skills that would make me, um, that would be really helpful in my new position. That's great. Thank you, Anu. I feel the same way in my career since graduation and onwards. Each experience <laughs> gives you another thing to think about and build upon. And um, when you get to that next step, you can see the next step after that. So it's definitely, it's a journey. Um, Dee, Absolutely. what about yourself? Did you have something similar in terms of different types of work experiences that kind of made you think of differently about what you might want to do when you graduate? Yes, I actually did. So for my first um, work experience, my, my first co-op was at, was at Carlton, like I stated. And with that one, I got comfortable with being an employee. I actually learned how to be a professional employee because it's one thing to be a student, but then when you're entering the real world as a, as a worker, you have to learn how to be an employee, learn professional language and things like that. And working in career services really assisted me with that. For my second co-op term, I ended up working at the Global Sanctions Office office at CIBC, which is a major bank, one of the top five banks in Canada. So it actually made me experience the business law aspect of my degree, working in a 
a part of what I've learned in classroom. And that kind of just confirmed that I did not want to go with my degree. And having that co-op experience, rather than just going into the real world and then starting that career, made me understand that, hmm, maybe this is not what I want. Maybe I want something else. And that actually made me, before my final year at Carlton, that made me start thinking about what I would like if I wasn't going to go into business law, if I wasn't going to go into law. And then I was able to explore that I actually like technology, which is where I'm currently working at. I work in a tech company. So just having those co-op experiences made me, and also speaking with employ, um, empl employers while working at career services and also working in a kind of business law aspect in a bank made me understand that you have options. You, you don't have to stick to your degree, work hard on your degree, get good grades, but you don't have to necessarily stick to that. There's so many options available and doing co-op and having different work experiences shows you and makes you and exposes you to the kind of skills and the kind of jobs that are out there that are available for you as a student. Yeah, D, I love that because I think it's it's really true. When you learn that something doesn't work for you, that's just as powerful as learning that something that does. So it, it helps you refine what you like and what makes you happy. And I think all of us would agree that if you love what you do, it doesn't feel like work at all. Um, Quinn, what are your thoughts on this? Um, so before go off, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, while, but, and while applying for my first co-op, because computer science is a broad area. So there are a lot of different job positions to apply. And at that time, I didn't even know what the job would be or what will I do in that job position. However, after my first go up, I learned more about each job position. What do I do for each? So I was able to filter out what I want to do for the next co op term and just go for it and try to explore more in the next uh, co-op term. Nice. I like it. It's sort of like building of experiences that helps you kind of go to the next place with confidence, I guess. Yeah, that's great. We have only a little bit of time left, but I think one question that I'd love to hear more about, and I'm sure everybody listening as well, is what advice would you have for our incoming students as they kind of contemplate starting a degree and exploring some of these experiences for themselves? So do you have any advice that you'd share, Anu? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, first of all, Carlton has a lot of resources for international students. So make sure you do your research and find out all the resources and take full advantage of it because you're, you know, you're paying a lot of money. And if you have resources available, you should be using those. Uh, and they'll, they'll be only helping you. They'll only make your life easier. And work hard, study hard. But at the same time, don't forget that you're still very young. So enjoy your life. These four years will just fly by so quickly. So just enjoy what you're doing. Nice. That would be I my love advice. Yeah, that's good advice, because it's true. Four years feels and sounds like an awfully long time, but it certainly passes quickly. And um, yeah. yeah, don't be scared to take risks, you know, get out there and try new things. That's that's great. Um, Dee, how about yourself? Any advice that you'd like to share? Definitely. For me, um, be extremely open-minded. It wouldn't hurt. When I first came to Carlton, as a Nigerian, we have really strict parents, so it's very do this and do that and do this and do this. But then when I came into Carlton, there were so many resources available to me that if I wasn't open-minded, I wouldn't have had the journey I, w I had at Carlton. So in my first year, I actually withdrew from the core program because I thought it wasn't for me because I was determined to go abroad instead, which is study abroad. I went abroad and while I was actually abroad, I decided I want to go back to co-op. I want the work experience. So I actually had my co-op interview while I was studying abroad. So it's all those things where you have to be open-minded. And then when I was done, I was actually meant to do only 12 months of co-op. But then I was like, you know what? I want to do one more term of co-op. And you know what? Once again, leaning into my resources at Carlton, 
every single decision I made were due to the resources I called in. If I had any questions, I could go to the co-op office. If I had any questions regarding my um, courses, I would go to the registrar's office. I had my undergraduate advisor assist me from first year to my very last year. I picked up my minor in sociology in my last semester of third year, and I had a year and a half to finish it. So there were so many things I ended up doing that it was mainly because I was open-minded and also because Carlton just has so many resources that you would only be able to use them if you actually go out of your way, be open-minded and go and see what's available for you. Be open-minded, be not be scared and everything will be okay at the end of the day. Nice. That's that's very good advice. And I agree. I think everything you guys need to serve, to excel and, and do well and hit the ground running at Carleton uh, is there. You just have to be aware of it and take advantage of these experiences and these opportunities so they'll help you excel. Um, Quinn, what were your thoughts on this? Do you have any advice you'd like to offer? My advice to try to get involved as much as you can. Uh, there are many clubs and activities in Carleton for you to join. Uh, try to networking as much as you can because you can learn a lot of things from the people around you. Uh, be confident, go to career fair, talk to your advisor at school, take advantage of the resources that Carleton provides to you. That's wonderful. Thank you, Quinn. And thank you all three for sharing your experiences and advice for our students. I think everybody found that to be really valuable. Um, I know I know, I certainly did. Um, a couple of other club students to highlight, just very quickly, um, Ratika is an example who did two work terms at the big uh, telecom company Ericsson here in Ottawa. And of course, she's now graduated, uh, co-op student of the year, and now an employee of that company as well. So great connection there. Uh, another example, Sarita, who did four co-op work terms and currently working in research tech here in Ottawa. Um, it's nice to consider that obviously everyone knows Ottawa as, as a capital city and certainly for politics and international relations and diplomacy, it's a great location. Um, but there's a huge concentration of IT businesses here, life and health science research institutes, uh, really is Canada's best kept secret, I think, in terms of like labor opportunities, livability, cost of living, and just a really beautiful, nice place to be. Um, it was a lot of information, but I'm sure there's tons of questions. So I certainly invite you guys to join us at the booth afterwards to ask those questions. Uh, we're more than happy to answer them. Uh, now I think we'll conclude this session and you'll have a chance to hear from some of our students about their journey professionally. Well, thank you. So when I was in high school, I was kind of uh, a little bit unsure of what I wanted to go into. I knew I liked arts, I knew I liked science and math. So um, when I was looking at my potential options, I saw that architecture could be a really uh, viable and interesting option. And then I also realized that I really enjoy business. Um, so what I decided to pursue is, and I really like that Carlton allows you to do this, is uh, pursue a minor in business while pursuing my major in architecture. Um, so then that kind of opens up my career path. So my, uh, so my love right now is PR, is immersive start. Okay. I think it's fine to change the role if I find, oh, I like other things in the future, and I can do that same it's not a big deal to change it. I think mean, just try it, try it. Hello, uh, my name is Kufili Bernard Edwin, and I'm actually a student in neuroscience and biology uh, combined honors at Carl. I think when I started school, what I wanted to be is I wanted to be a surgeon, um, like in neuroscience, a neurosurgeon. But kind of as I went through university, what I found is that I kind of like entrepreneurship a lot more. So I wanted to develop my own technology and kind of become like an inventor um, of sorts. So. I wanted to do video editing when I was in high school, um, but throughout the program I decided to hone in more on the videography aspect and uh, now I've started to develop a videography business and graduating, graduating I'd like to continue to develop that business. Hey, I'm Cassandra Stapule and I'm in biology and health science. Um, when I was in high school I wanted to be a veterinarian and through all these classes and the experiences at Carleton, I have shifted and I want to be more into public health. 
in high school, I thought I was going to be, you know, a stock market trader, and then maybe grade 12, like months before I graduated, I'm like, no, I'll be a journalist. Um, and I couldn't get into either program, so I came across media production, and since then I've honed my skills, and I've been able to create my own business with a sports website, and it's just been fantastic. I think my career plans have stayed fairly similar. In high school, I wanted to do environmental work, probably environmental consulting, and I think through university, that has been strengthened my want to do that same thing. Hi, my name is Maram Imara. My major is in food science and nutrition. I'm actually coming from Egypt, and I've always been interested in both food science and nutrition and neuroscience and mental health, and that's why I did neuroscience as my minor. My first two years were in nursing school, so my plan was to become a, a nurse and then in, in, the, in the psychiatric department. Um, but um, I, when I was in nursing school, I really did not. I was doing really, really bad in courses. I was kicked out of school, actually, and I was re-enrolled, and I was kicked out again because my grades were so bad. Bad. And when I was uh, transferred to Carleton, I said to my parents, listen guys, we did it your way, it didn't work, now I'm going to try something that I'm passionate about. And when I started studying psychology, my gr I became an A student like immediately, like it, I was like, this is where I'm where I belong and like I actually enjoy it. So my recommendation is, you know how it's cliche people say like care what you do? It's real, care about what you do and you're literally never studying. Like, I did this project out of fun. Like, it was just, like, so entertaining for me to do it. Hello, my name is Sita Bade. I'm an international student and also enrolled in the Media Production and Design program here in Carleton. In high school, I wanted to do graphic design, but I ended up going into architecture and engineering in my first year. Um, as Nigerian, like, I was encouraged to take the more um, traditional career route. But um, then I switched out of that into Media Production and Design. Mostly because of my um, interest in graphic design, and now towards the end of my career, I'm starting to pivot that interest into film, and I'm starting to look into pursuing film after graduating. So that's my story. <laughs>